In this video, we'll see how to get the input from the user. That is, you can use input box. That's an inbuilt function, input box. Till now, whatever we've seen, all the videos we have seen how to display the message. Maybe it's a number, it might be a text, or it might be a date. Let us see how do we get the input from the user using input box. Let us see that. Now, I'm in the same file Excel VBA boxes because I'm using message box, input box, everything in that. So I'll go to developer tab, click on this visual basic. I have already created here uh, input box, F underscore input box one. And I have created here a sub procedure, sub procedure input box one. Remember, I cannot type input box. I have to type as input box one because it is a reserve keyword. Input box is a reserve keyword. I have to type as input box one. Let us see that if I want to display an input box, how do I get it? Simply type input box and start typing double quotes enter the data that's it input box enter the data and i'll just click on this run button so if you observe here enter the data is nothing but the body text or you can say as prompt i have got a text box which is asking me to enter some data and there are two buttons ok and cancel the heading is given as microsoft excel so that's it so if i type something let's say i can just type here anything and click on ok right but if you observe that's input box enter the data which is given here the data which i have typed is not getting stored at any place any variable so what i want is the data which is accepting an in input box i want to store in some variable let's say a variable a equal to and when i say a equal to whatever data i type that will be stored into this variable a but observe if i click outside i'll get an error message why because if you're getting some input from a function okay i'll click on okay you have to put a brackets over here only then it will be accepted so make sure you put a brackets here like this and now let's say what happens i'll get the value stored into this variable a and i want to display this with the help of message box a we have learned message box and now i'll click on this run button enter the data i can type here my name okay and the same name is displayed in the help of message box because i've i've asked him to display as a message box itself right so that is one part itself now input box enter the data that is the text i'll just execute it enter the data but here the title i want to change the title i do not want microsoft excel i want something else so how do i do that i'll click on okay i'll remove the brackets which is closing i'll put a comma now same syntax which i used for message box similar to that i get a help input box prompt in comma bracket title if you see the square brackets it means the square bracket means it means optional even if you don't use the title and the remaining part still it's okay not a problem so i'll say i want a title in double quotes i can type as i'll, I'll reduce this comma double quotes i'll type here a title as ms excel vba capital excel vba comma okay if you see comma again it is saying do you want to type some default text after putting a comma if you see it is getting bold do you want to type some default text so i'll say default text is hello hello so if you see this one becomes the prompt or the body text second will become as the title text and the third one be will become a default text let us see let us observe if i execute that now if you see early it was enter now it is also enter here it is given as ms excel vba the title text and here if you see the default some people they do not type some data directly they click on ok button so what is the default data do you want so right now default data is nothing but as given as hello so i'll just click on ok i'll not type anything i'll click on ok and if you see the same text is displayed in the form of message box as hello part right that's simple here and uh, after that one more thing i'll show you here after that if i put again a comma after this hello i'm getting the x position and y position x position and y position of the input box if i type here as 200 comma 200 and close the bracket so if you observe here i'll close this one it's taking some space yeah hello comma 200 comma 200 x position 200 y position 200 with respect to my screen with respect to my desktop screen if i execute this 
and if you see the message box went on the top x position 200 y position 200 i'll click on cancel i'll click on okay if i change to 2000 and 2000 let us see what happens if i click on this run button now this position is 2000 and 2000 with respect to my screen that's a desktop screen i'll click on okay and i'll click on okay button right so i hope you're able to understand how do we get an input from the user using this input message box enter that's the prompt body text or you can say title text the default x position y position and how do we display with the help of message box i hope you have understood that's all for this video